So many times we don't think we're making any progress. You might be writing a book, you might be building a business, but every day you wake up and you essentially look at the task in front of you and it looks overwhelming. I've seen this many times with authors that I coach. They think about writing the whole book or turning that book into 18 streams of income or a six-figure business or people who have a ministry idea to change the world. And let's be honest, it can get incredibly overwhelming when you think about all the things you need to do. And that's how it was for me many years ago until I discovered a very simple but helpful trick. And that is that one time I cast the big vision. One time I kind of see as far as I can see and I try to actually articulate it. And what I do is I articulate it in the present tense. I don't say, hey, one day I will, or you know, in the future I'm going to. I basically look as far as I can into the future. And then what I do is I cast that vision and I say, I am, and I use present tense. I am standing on a big stage. I am igniting 10 million souls. Whatever your big vision is, you trick your brain once into projecting into the future, but use present tense. The other thing, if you haven't noticed, I've uh, been walking up and down a staircase and I often come here to run these stairs. And let's face it, if you said, hey Carrie, you gotta run 20, 20 of these up and down, it'd be overwhelming. It'd be like publishing that book. It'd be like starting that business. So instead what I do is I basically just look literally at the next step in front of me. And when I do that, it's actually quite easy. All you do is you take one step, your next best step. Those are the two secrets I use oftentimes to accomplish something big. This is Kerry Oberbrunner. Be a soul on fire and go dream big. We'll see you.